Barbie Ferrer is an American plus-size model and an actress known for her role as Kat Hernandez in the series Euphoria. Hey everyone, this is The Rich Life, I'm your host Michaela, and today we are talking about one of Euphoria's stars, Barbie Ferreira. Barbie Ferreira was born on December 14, 1996 in Queens, New York City, but later moved to New Jersey with her family. And she was raised by her Brazilian mother and grandmother, and Barbie prefers not to speak about her father. And her family has nothing to do with the world of cinema and art as her mother works as a chef. My mom and my aunt are both chefs, and I thought that it's skipped a generation, she has previously said. However, she was surprisingly artistic as a child, and from the age of eight, she began to attend school drama classes. For Barbie, her attitude to food had an indissoluble relation to the way she sees and perceives the world because the delicious food beautifully presented by her mother was always at hand. But by puberty, she gained weight and said she had lost all self-confidence. I was a very morose child. This has greatly influenced my whole life future. The young, introverted Barbie was too shy to communicate with peers and was secretly in love with rapper Usher and and Tumblr where Barbie met many like-minded people and it became a safety valve for her. From childhood, Barbie dreamed of a career as a model or actress, but she met fashion models with lush forms neither on television nor on the covers of glossy magazines. But times are changing and a plus size branch has appeared in the modeling business, which has opened the way to the catwalk for girls who would have turned away before. To overcome the inferiority complexes at 16, Barbie decided to send her photos to the open casting of the American Apparel clothing brand. To great surprise, she was answered and invited for an interview. At the time, the schoolgirl had no experience working as a model, except in the cases when she posed for artists for 50 bucks. As Barbie confessed, she spent the money she earned on taxis and illegal green substances. Her unique beauty was appreciated and soon Barbie signed a contract with Wilhelmina Models Modeling Agency, with which Nicki Minaj, Demi Lovato, Nick Jonas, Shawn Mendes, and other Hollywood celebs worked with. The whole fashion world immediately began talking about her. The photo session for the teenage magazine Seventeen, in which the model talked about her ideas about beauty and condemned fat shamers, was a especially valuable. Soon the fashion model was entrusted with advertising the products of such world famous brands such as Adidas, ASOS, Forever 21, and H&M. Then unretouched photos of Ferreira in which all the beautiful flaws of her body were noticeable and the 2016 video interview for the Airy Lingerie brand campaign became viral. I'm not going to apologize for my body and all that I am proud of, Barbie said in the video. In the same year, the influential Time magazine included Barbie in the list of 30 most influential teens of the year. When Ferreira just started working in the modeling business, she received a lot of negativity in her direction. But acquaintance with other plus size models significantly changed her worldview. It was not easy, the initial reaction of people was almost always negative. They did not agree or were not used to what they saw. But I felt great joy at how beautiful we all were and I knew that we would always share our experiences with one another. At the time, she had already earned very good money and she cherished the dream of becoming a part of the film industry. I've had a desire to become an actress since my very childhood. This has always been my main goal, says Ferreira. Her first experience was participation in the series of videos Moments of New York by cosmetics corporation Maybelline New York. In the video, the viewer gets acquainted with three young girls who had their minds firmly made up to carry out their own plans at all costs. Together with Barbie, the video starred rapper and supporter of feminism Princess Noki and transgender actress Hari Neff. After that, Barbie launched the web series How to Behave, in which she taught viewers how to accept and love their own bodies. The project received the Webby Award for Best Web Series of the Year. In 2020, Barbie then appeared in the TV series Un pregnant about a popular girl at school who unplanned became pregnant. In 2018, Barbie appeared in two episodes of the comedy and drama series Divorce, in which the leading roles were performed by Sarah Jessica Parker and Thomas Hayden Church. But the real success was ahead. Barbie got a role in the series Euphoria, which started on June 16, 2019. A girl named Rue, played by Zendaya, who fights drug addiction with the support of her new girlfriend Jules, played by Hunter Schaefer, is at the center of television drama created by Sam Levinson. Subsequently, Kat, played by Barbie, explores her her own sexuality, learns about fetish culture, and learns to accept her body. Alexa Demi, Maude Apatow, Nika King, and other talented young actors also starred in the series. In April 2019, Barbie Ferrer could be seen in the documentary I Am What's Underneath, which looks at the fashion industry from the inside and tells about the Style Like You project, which appreciates beauty in any form and manifestation. In July 2019, the filming of the second season of the series Euphoria was announced and was then released on January 9th, 2022 to which she did not have many scenes due to some drama with her and the writer of the show. Now onto the dating part of her life. Now we should all know that Barbie Ferrer is dating her girlfriend Elle Puckett. The couple has been in a relationship for over three years now and both Barbie and Elle have been pretty open about their romance since the beginning. Barbie Ferrer has recently uploaded a picture of her and Elle Puckett on her Instagram, where the couple is sitting at some restaurant. In the caption, Barbie wrote, love of my life. 
And on December 15th, Elle Puckett wished her girlfriend a happy birthday. In the caption, Elle wrote, Happy birthday, Barbie. You deserve the world. Never been happier to lie to you. Can't believe we pulled this off, haha. -ha. And Elle is a guitarist, producer, and artist. Now, what about that euphoria drama? Well, I'm gonna tell you now. Barbie Ferreira is now bidding farewell to her euphoria character, Kat. The actress announced via her Instagram story that she will not be returning to the HBO series ahead of its third season. After four years of getting to embody the most special and enigmatic character, Kat, I'm having to say a very very teary-eyed goodbye. Ferrer wrote alongside fan art of the character made by her co-star Hunter Schaefer who plays Jules in the show. She continued, I hope many of you could see yourself in her like I did. And she brought you joy to see her journey into the character she is today. I put all my care and love into her and I hope you guys could feel it. I love you, Catherine Hernandez. Representatives for HBO and Ferrer did not immediately return people's request for comment. During an interview with Entertainment Tonight in April, the star spoke about why her character wasn't featured as much on the show's second season. There's a huge cast. Ferrer told the outlet at the time. So we'll see everyone. Everyone gets their time. A season two aired rumors of tension between Ferrer and the show's director Sam Levinson spread. Some viewers assumed that the director may have purposely cut Ferrer's screen time but she appeared to shut down those claims in a few words. What's interesting about this season is there are so many more eyes on it that even the news cycle has been so interesting to see, she told Insider in March. I've seen so many different things and a lot of it's untrue and some of it's kind of like mundane little things. Sometimes things take on a life of their own and they're not rooted in the truth, but it's okay because it's just out of passion and out of curiosity and all that good stuff, she continued. And I signed up for it, so I'll take it. I'll take the good and the bad. In season one, viewers saw Kat start an online intimate work business as a way to embrace her sexuality. She also began a relationship with Ethan, played by Austin, who appeared as Kat's partner in the second season two, before their plotline went sour. While chatting with Entertainment Tonight about the season two finale, Austin discussed Kat and Ethan's relationship, saying, I hope there's still more to do. If there's something with Kat, I think that'd be really interesting to see what it looks like, especially with this character feeling very differently and having the time to think about it once he's out of the relationship. Now, the riches. Barbie's net worth is a whopping $3 million, and she owns two cars, a BMW X5 for $61,000 and an Audi A3 for $33,000. Now, of course, Ferrara isn't your typical 23 year old. She's already hitting the kinds of significant milestones most people don't reach until their 30s and 40s, including home ownership. This is a very big step for me, says Ferrara. I feel very adult and I will never stop talking about how adult I feel. Walking through the construction site where your new digs will be and plotting out all the details is decidedly grown up. But Ferrara doesn't take herself too seriously. I love camp, so everything is a little campy, she says of her decor plans. My bathroom is is going to be a kind of spa, and downstairs we're doing kind of a 70s groovy thing for the TV den and back room. I love fun furniture, so this is going to be fun for me to decorate. So we can expect this to look beautiful and cost a ton. But that is everything on Barbie. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.